Hey, this is Noah with The Creative Startup, and today we're gonna to talk a little bit about websites, how they're hosted, and which configuration is best for you. So, there are two main ways that websites are hosted. The first way is the two-in-one. So this is like Wix.com, this is like Wix.com, Squarespace, any of those websites. You essentially, you design your website, click and drag, put your pictures, put your text, everything in there, and then at the end of the process of designing the website, you pay them to keep that website on their server. So if I design a website on Wix, I put my pictures in Wix, I put my text all on a Wix site, my website then has to be hosted in Wix, right? So it's really simple. You design your website, put in your credit card information, you're billed monthly. It's super, super easy. So that's the first way. The second way is the separate hosting and design creating the website. So how this works is you have your host, for example, I use Emotion Hosting. So Emotion Hosting just leases me a part of their server. So I don't know where their server is or how it works, but I just own or at least a little part of it. And then what I do with that part of my ser server that I lease, I put WordPress onto that part of the server. And WordPress is just a way that you can design websites. Now there is WordPress.com, that's separate, this is wordpress.org and it just helps you design websites. You can download it. It's like a little service server thing you can use. And so I download WordPress onto the server and then I go into WordPress and that's how I design my website. And then you just see the website on the surface. So that's kind of the same thing. That's how the other ones work as well, but you don't get to do that whole process. You just see the top surface of it, click and drag your website, keep it on their server. They do all that work for you. Whereas with this other way, you kind of have to do it all yourself. So now we're going to look at the pros and cons of each way. So for the two-in-one, the pros are it's easy to do. You know, it's made for you to do. So when it comes down to it, Wix's job, Squarespace's job, even GoDaddy's job is to make it easy for you to make a website. So that's what they do. They give you customer support. They have tutorials. And, you know, they want you to not have to click too many times before you have a good working set up website. It's made for you. And another pro to this kind of service is that it looks fantastic. These websites are beautiful. I've designed some, I've designed them with other people and they look really, really good. They're great websites. So those are the pros. The cons on the other hand is that when you work with Wix.com or when you work with Squarespace, you're locked in with Squarespace. So say Squarespace says they're going to start charging you more a month. And you're like, oh, that sucks. You can't move your website. It's stuck on Squarespace. So if you wanted to move your website to a different server and, you know, they're going to charge less or your buddy owns a piece of a server and he's going to let you keep it there, too bad. You have to start from the ground up and rebuild your site. You don't get to take it off their server and move it somewhere. Another con to this system is that it often doesn't have email. And some of them do but it's rare and it's a lot more expensive. So if you want an email that has like your name at yourwebsite.com, these kind of services don't always work the best for that. Now for the other way, the separate way, the pros are it's oftentimes cheaper, it's transferable, unlike the other ones where you're stuck. If I have my website on InMotion hosting using WordPress on that server, and I get sick of InMotion hosting, like they're overcharging me or something, I can download my website onto my computer, go to a different server, and upload my website onto there. Keep my website, everything looks the same, same URL, everything. It's great. But, again, that's a little bit of a process. Another pro is that they often do have email. And then, again, you have to look into this particular service you're using, but it's more common for this type of service for this type of service to have email and when it has email it does come across as a little more professional like if I tell you my email is Noah at Guapa Productions which is my production company it looks a lot more professional I look like a real player in the game not just some kid who's trying to scrap it together which is the actual reality the only cons to this type of website are one it can be kind of difficult to design a website like this because you have to dig deep into how this all works and not everything is designed for you to use it's kind of designed for a techie to use so if you're pretty technical proficient it's not too bad if you are willing to learn to be technically proficient 
it's not too bad but it can be a pain for example right now I just had some examples pulled up on my computer and I went to pull up my website as an example and found that it's down and when your website goes down on Wix you say hey Wix my website's down fix it when my website goes down on my own space on emotion hosting the server using WordPress I get to go in there and fix it you know so hopefully it's something simple I don't know I just found it out but that's a disadvantage it's hard sometimes to use but that comes with the advantage of being a little bit easier to like get in the back door and rewire things rework things you can like embed HTML on your website which you can't do with the other kind you can embed you know more complicated plugins whereas with just two-in-one kind of hosting you have to use their plugins you have to use their services you can't just put really complicated stuff onto your site you can't put like stores and music stores and all that kind of stuff and the last kind of con to using the other system you know not the separate system is that it's not always as pretty sometimes the templates they give you aren't super great and you have to learn to redo the colors using the actual color codes and stuff like that so it's not always quite so simple but you can get them to look really nice and that's why I wanted to pull up my site but again it's down so that sucks other than that it's just up to what you decide so I'm not gonna tell you one way is right or one way is wrong again I do it one way and just now I found out that that's not working super good so I gotta fix that but I still do like having my personal stuff separate because I am a little more technical and I like digging into those things. I like figuring out how they work and I like having that control and that ability to take my website down and move it somewhere else. But it also costs me a lot of time and energy to do that. So maybe you would be better off just putting your website on Wix, putting it on Squarespace, paying the monthly fee and having it look beautiful, nice and easy there for you. Again. I don't want to sound biased in either way. I think they both work for different people. So it's just up to you to figure out what works for you. Hope this is helpful. Have a great day.